If you are a fan of MacGyver style hack jobs on your tech, or maybe just a fan of little odd jobs around the house even, <laughs> then I've got something that you might be interested in. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and uh, I wasn't really sure where to go with that intro because what I've got to talk about today is a little bit niche. So don't let anyone tell you that I don't make niche videos and I'm not all about the uh, uh, YouTube juice and looking for the highest rated uh, videos because this one is a little bit weird. It is about a thing called not crack cocaine, polymorph. <laughs> and uh, it is a moldable plastic. So let me just show you what it is. And I'll show you also the little project that I'm going to demonstrate it on as well. Uh, so it is, as I say, a moldable plastic. And it comes in little uh, granules like this. There you go. And uh, little plastic granules. And you simply add water, hot water, <laughs> and they uh, melt. And then you can mold them into any shape. And then they set as hard as well not rock I was going to say as hard as rock they set as hard as hard plastic is what they set as hard as now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for here this feels like I have got anyone watching from the UK and you're familiar with the uh, children's program Blue Peter <laughs> it's uh, it's like that uh, please make sure that you have a, a, supervise, a supervision of an adult uh, on standby as well uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mod modify my Desview T3 uh, teleprompter which is what my last video was about and I mentioned about how uh, I was going to attach my Lilliput to the bottom here but I also mentioned how I could probably gain an extra inch of uh, clearance above my monitor by uh, just doing a bit of extra modification well I've already started that modification because I've actually cut the bottom off that <laughs> because I don't need that but it has meant that this is now uh, maybe not quite as strong and sturdy as it was when that little gap at the bottom was closed up so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some of this plastic to uh, strengthen this bottom part here and uh, provide a better place for this monitor to sit. Uh, so basically, that's it. I'm going to go and add the hot water to this now and I'm going to put it in place here and I'm going to show you how easy it is and also how it looks when it's finished. And uh, I have also drilled a couple of holes here because as I put the moldable plastic on, I'm going to have it go through these holes and then there is space for it, a little bit of space. It can't fit, can't be higher than... Uh, that's where's my... Um, this part it can't be higher than this this sort of level here because this is where the slider fits but as long as it is within this little groove uh, then it'll be okay so I'm gonna have the plastic go through this little groove here and through these holes and back out the other side and then flat along there and so that is the plan and we'll see what a job I make of it and whether I totally hash it up again uh, but I have been known to mess up projects in the past but there we go I'll try my best and I'll uh, go and get the kettle on now and I'll bring boiling hot water over my desk. Don't try this at home without the supervision of a responsible adult. Okay, I'm back. There's now boiling water in the bowl and uh, what you might notice is that those uh, little white granules of the uh, plastic have actually gone uh, totally transparent now and it's almost instant if you use boiling water. The water doesn't have to be boiling actually to, uh, to sort of activate it or to melt it. In fact, if I just drop a few more in, you can see how long they take. They'll just slowly uh, turn uh, totally transparent, uh, almost transparent, and uh, that's how quick it sort of becomes pliable, basically, so that you can uh, use it. Now, uh, you can tip the water away, but since I uh, am at my desk, I'm not gonna just tip it all over here. So I've cunningly brought a fork with me, and as you can see, if I just take this out of the water now, uh, bear in mind there is water involved so it will be wet <laughs> but what you can see is I now have uh, a really quite moldable and pliable plastic uh, and it's just like uh, just like putty almost whoops he says dropping it in the water and splashing water everywhere <laughs> this is how not to do it so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to apply it to here now as I said I want some of this to go uh, through the uh, it would help if I had this in view wouldn't it I want some of this to go through these holes I'm going to push it through so that it squeezes through the holes. Uh, you can use this for all sorts of things. I use it for uh, anything from fixing kids' toys, <laughs> fixing broken fixtures, uh, modifying things as I'm doing here. Uh, and you've got quite a bit of time really. It's not like it suddenly goes hard. Uh, I need to make sure I leave room for the uh, screw hole. I'm just going to move this down here like this. Oops, a daisy, he says, making a complete mess of it. 
Uh, and again, we have to make sure that that is completely flat. So I bought a knife just to make sure that this is going to be flat with that uh, surface at the back so that the, uh, the slider that we have in here is not going to get in the way. And then I'm going to put this across this way and it will just sort of stick to, uh, to itself. It's also sticking to my desk here because I foolishly put some down on the desk. There we go. I'll just put this one along here. And this is where I need another recommendation from Keith Pelzer, the uh, jib arm, <laughs> to get these different camera angles in rather than just simply a top-down shot. Uh, but there we go. This will do for now. So the point of this is to really just sort of stiffen up the plastic at the bottom and give a uh, sort of surface for the um, for the Lilliput monitor to sit onto. Uh, here we go. I'm going to neaten all of this upwards. Uh, upwards. <laughs> I'm going to neaten all of this up afterwards. Get my words mixed up because I'm trying to do two things at once. Classic, classic. Alec error that is trying to do two things at once and it always ends in disaster uh, not always that's not true <laughs> but often right so and you may think that this looks a little bit of a mess at the moment but once it's all uh, in place it will be fine well this is a bit of a uh, a bit of a departure isn't it from my usual uh, how to get things done on your Mac this is how to hack up your uh, expensive tech gear and try and uh, modify it with some moldable plastic. But I'm hoping that there may be at least one person who watches this who thinks I definitely need that because this is the sort of stuff that once you actually have it in your house, <laughs> you find all manner of uses for it and I'm using it all the time for all sorts of things. Now, uh, what's happened is it's just sort of pushed the back out a little bit. So I do need to make sure that I keep that flat so that I can still get my lens uh, cover on like that nearly there you can see it's actually going more and more um opaque as it is drying or setting rather so i just need to uh, do this you can also uh, sort of trim it afterwards as well so if it's not exactly right then uh, you can uh, you can trim it uh, one thing to bear in mind uh, in, in case it wasn't entirely obvious is uh, this is a heat activated material so uh, you can also reactivate it again by heating it up. So that means that don't use this on anything where there is going to be heat involved uh, because that will melt it. It is a, uh, it is a, mo a mo moldable plastic that can melt. This is really a quite a different video. This is probably a video that I should have done somewhere else really with hindsight. I probably should have done this as a little live stream to YouTube or something like that. Uh, or to my Facebook page or something rather than a whole video, but I think I will post it as a video anyway. And he says, thinking out aloud. Because, uh, and that, as you can see, is getting more and more uh, sort of uh, opaque. You can't see through it. And that is, I've got a little space there for the uh, screw. So now this will be able to fit on here, but don't put it on just yet because otherwise it will actually get stuck to it. It does stick to other surfaces quite well as well. Uh, I mean, it's stuck quite nicely to my desk where I spilt a little bit here, but it does also uh, just come off. So it's not uh, not that big, big of an issue. And uh, yeah, here's a bit that is sort of going, uh, going hard. Got some over my finger there as well. Uh, but it will get more and more sort of stiff as it goes on. And then when it gets to the point where it's sort of semi-translucent like that, uh, it will sort of lose its stickiness. You can already see that that's not quite sticking to itself anymore. So uh, that gives you an indication how, how many minutes are we are in. Probably about six minutes since I actually poured the water on it. So you've got about six minutes after you take it out. And then that's now going really quite, uh, quite, uh, quite hard. And also uh, back to that transparent. So uh, this one here that I've got on here, uh, I could probably, if I wasn't filming and I was being a bit more cautious I could probably neaten that up a bit but I'm not too bothered to be honest because it will ultimately be hidden behind the back of the monitor but what that has done is it has actually stiffened this whole thing up and certainly when it's set hard it will have as well uh, and it means that I've saved basically what have I saved off the end of this I think I've saved about an inch and that will really help with uh, 
my camera setup because it means my camera can basically yeah i've cut off basically an inch of it so that means my camera can be an inch uh, an inch lower which might not sound like a lot but it is when you're uh, trying to uh, trying to get it as close to your monitor as possible so that you can uh, sort of focus on the uh, the camera and the screen at the same time so that one is uh, pretty much uh, almost there now so let me just screw on my monitor well there we are it is <laughs> it is well and truly on there now so uh, now that that has uh, now that that has dried it is uh, now fully fixed on there and that is now not going anywhere and i've got it much sort of stronger at the back uh, i could probably just trim off a little bit of that excess at the bottom there but that is now uh, a lot uh, a lot sturdier than it was and i can still actually fit this on so uh, that is polymorph <laughs> polymorph uh, moldable plastic and i will obviously leave a description to that in the uh, in the description i'll leave a, a link to that in the description i won't leave a description of it in the description because i think i've already described it enough but i will leave a link to it in the description <laughs> uh i only had white with me actually but you can get it in black so i probably should have got some black but uh yeah this is just a bag of the uh, white polymorph that i've got you can also get it in different colors and what you can also do is then blend the colors to make almost any color of the rainbow really uh so uh, yeah i'll leave a link to the the, the colored ones the white one and the uh, the black one as well but uh, if you do a search for polymorph you'll definitely find it anyway so there we go a bit of a different video for me that was and uh, i hope that uh, my fellow macgyver fans out there found that interesting and useful <laughs> and if you've used it before uh, leave a message in the comments and let me know all the things you've done with it because I have used it as I say on absolutely everything <laughs> there's probably some of it in almost every room of my house in some way or another uh, whether you can see it or not it's uh, it's there doing something or other really useful little thing and so uh, yeah if you have found it useful as always <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, if you're expecting more polymorph tips then maybe you might not want to subscribe because uh, there probably won't be too many more coming of these. Uh, but for any software reviews, tutorials and things like that, then uh, this is the place. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'll leave a link to some more videos over on the right hand side. And until the next tech related video, have a great day.